we're gonna go now step number one okay like I said don't forget your paper needs to be this way today okay sideways in front of you like this step number one right here in about the middle of your paper you guys are gonna draw two circles touching okay so those circles are gonna go together all right you don't want them to be great, great, big. Hey, Chase. Chase got the right answer a little bit when he did this the last time. So I'm excited, Chase. Make sure you guess when you think you know what we're drawing. So we have two circles side by side. Okay, that was step number one. Step number two. Inside of those circles, you guys are going to draw just a straight line kind of in the middle. They don't even have to be touching. Like if you look at mine, they're not even in the same place. They're touching um, just different spots, but I kind of cut the circle in half. And if you think you know what this is, make sure you tell me, okay? Because it's going to be exciting and you get a prize if you get the right answer, which is awesome. So, step number three, okay? Underneath these circles with the lines, you're going to kind of, you're going to put U's under both of them, okay? Just like the letter U. So underneath these circles is the letter U, all right? So we've gotten three steps so far, and if you're just joining us, you've got two circles with a line in the middle, and you've got two U's that go underneath, all right? So after you've done that step, I'm gonna call these kind of balloons, they're ovals, on top of your circles, you're just going to have these ovals, okay? And they don't need to be perfect at all. Hayden and Keaton are here. Hey, guys, welcome to Let's Draw. We have already started our drawing. Today we have special effects, which is super exciting. Um, I'm going to run through the steps real, real quick. We have two circles touching with a line in those circles, the letter U underneath those circles, and ovals on top. Okay, so now we are on step number five. Step number five, you might sort of start to guess with step number five, but today's is a little more difficult. We're gonna put circles inside those circles. So a black circle. So if you have a black crayon or a black marker today, you wanna color in this tiny circle. Brooke and Cooper, what's up? And hey, Cassie. I love saying hi to my friends, and I love that their kids are in here and that we're all drawing together. It's really exciting. So the last step we just did was our little circles inside of these guys. So if you can't tell, we, these are definitely eyes, all right? So we're drawing something with eyes, and we have bubbles as special effects. Step number six. All right, here we go. Down here at the bottom of your page, you are going to draw the letter S, okay? Just the letter S, and it's not a perfect S. You want it to go all the way to the bottom of your page, so you wanna make sure you touch down here. Don't leave any white space. Then at the top of your S, you're gonna start at the top of your S, and then you're just going to trace it exactly what you did. So you're just going to make another one right beside it. So they should look like they're working like that. Okay. So now we're going to draw four more of these guys. So my S is you can make your wobblies go any way you want. Just make a squiggle on your page. And then start at the top of your squiggle and trace it out just like that. Okay. Don't forget to guess as we're drawing. And I said we're gonna do four more, here we go. Like I said, they're just squiggles. And then you go to the end of your squiggle and you follow the same path that you just created and go all the way to the bottom of your page, okay? I'm gonna do a little squiggle here and a big squiggle here, okay? So I have, I believe, one, two, three, four, five. I have five squiggles on my page, and some of you guys might start being able to tell what you think that we are drawing. So step number 10, nope, I'm sorry, step number eight was drawing a bunch of different squiggles. Step number nine is inside each one of those, 
Da 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 da! Caden got it right. Micah's house got it right. We are drawing an octopus. Woohoo! Celebration! We have confetti to celebrate. Good job. So, I wish it had shown up a little bit better, but you know, first time. So, we are drawing an octopus. To be very specific, because I very much love Disney, I'm going to be drawing my octopus. I'm going to be coloring him orange. I'm inspired by Hank from Finding Dory, which is coming out on Friday, June 17th. I'm so excited. And you guys can see there's Dory and Nemo hanging out with Hank. Now, just to give you a little hint, I always tell you, you know, Dory's somewhere. She's somewhere watching all the time. So if you think you see her, let me know. All right, so back to our drawing. So we have five tentacles. Inside each of these tentacles, you're gonna tr trace another line, okay, in the middle. So remember that first S we made? You're gonna go back to the point and you're gonna trace again, all right? So inside your S squiggles, you're gonna do another squiggle, just like that. So all your squiggles, or your tentacles is actually what they are, are gonna have a line in the middle of them. And then you need to pick a side of your tentacle. So I'm gonna show you on this tentacle right here. I'm gonna pick the left side of his tentacle and I am going to put ovals inside that, okay? And since I picked this side of my tentacle, I'm gonna do the same side on all of the rest of them. So you're going to put ovals inside all these bad boys, okay? Just like this. Now, while I'm putting my ovals in, I'll tell you an interesting fact. Hank is this fella's name from Finding Dory, and Hank is actually not an octopus. He is a septopus, which means he only has seven tentacles which is really kind of funny, and I bet that they tell us a little bit more about that in the movie. And he has the power of camouflage, which means he can blend into anything, any background, any surroundings. So that's pretty cool. All right. Oh, Callan, Dory is behind my head. She's right there. You guys see her? She's been here the whole time watching us, enjoying the bubbles. Hashtag, have you seen her? You know, you get it? Okay, back to Hank. So after we've drawn our ovals and everything, we only have two more steps left to go, okay? So steps number 12, you guys are gonna start where you ended that line right there. You're just gonna draw a diagonal line coming down just like that. And it starts at his eye and it just comes straight down. You don't wanna draw through your tentacle that you worked on, okay? I'm getting bubbles in my hair. And then you're gonna do the same thing over here on the other side. Okay, so now he's got his head. Dory is loving it, by the way. And he just needs a nose, which is just two straight lines down, just like that. And they kind of look like your nose right there, just like these fingers look, okay? So, and then we're just gonna add our inspiration for today, which is bubbles, bubbles. Tiny, I've been singing Tiny Bubbles all day in, in, in you know, anticipation. All right, so he's been drawn. He's ready to go. I'm going to kind of show you guys what colors that Hank is. Hank is orange, so you want to color his body orange. His eyebrows and his eyelids are kind of a reddish color. So you want to color under here sort of a red and you want to color his eyebrows red. That's if you're making your octopus look like Hank. If you want to make him look however you want to, that's cool because he has the power of camouflage so he can look like whatever you want him to. And his whole body's going to be orange. So when you're finished, you will have Hank. Isn't he cute? Isn't he fun? And what's really cool about Hank is his tentacles can go all over the place all the time. And if you're drawing an octopus, he needs eight. If you're drawing a septopus, he needs seven. And not all of them have to show. Some of his tentacles could be down here. So don't forget, we also know how to draw Dory, his buddy. 
So if you really, really want to, you guys can put your pictures together and draw Hank and Dory. And I also snuck Destiny in here at the bottom because she's pretty much just an oval with tiny eyes. So I had Hank and Dory together because now you guys know how to draw both of them and you can just have an ocean full of characters. Today's was a really, really fun draw and I really, really liked it. We have our hashtags so that when you guys post your pictures, don't forget to hashtag it. I drew with Kylie, hashtag bubbles, hashtag finding Dory. Make sure you post your picture either in the comments or on Facebook and tag me. That's how I know you guys are having fun and enjoying this and keeps me going. I had a blast today. Thanks for guessing and playing. Dory says thanks too. And I'll see you guys on Saturday at 3 o'clock. Bye, guys. Oh, it's still on and I'm still alive.